hello thank you for checking out my video and today we're looking at lines from point slash slope it says here diagonal only so what we want to do is we want to write an equation we want to write it in slope intercept form and slope intercept form is y is equal to m x plus b okay so we want to write that and when we write it we'll have an x and a y that's the variable and the m and the b which are the slope and the y-intercept they'll be numbers so what we need to write the equation is we need to figure out what m is and figure out what b is okay we just need to find those two things now um, the questions that we're going to be dealing with are questions where they give us one of the points on the line so here they give you one of the points on the line 7 2 and they give you the slope which is 1 okay so remember we just said you need the slope and the y-intercept we already got the slope so the what we're going to do is use this format here to find out what your y-intercept is then we can write the equation so that's what we're working on today. So let's take a look at the first example. Alright. So it says, what is an equation of a line that passes through the point 7, 2 and has a slope of 1? So we're going to start off with our y equals mx plus b. And we're going to make this an equation where we're going to plug in every all the other numbers except for the y-intercept so let's take a look here so we got a point and remember the point has an x and a y and we also had a slope so we got three of the four things that we have here we've got the x and the y and we also have the slope we're going to plug those numbers in and then solve for the y-intercept alright so let's plug those in so we got y which is 2 is equal to the slope which is 1 times the x which is 7 plus b and now you just solve this equation like any other equation with b being x per se and you're just going to figure out what b is so we're just going to work it out we're going to do we're going to simplify this by multiplying 1 times 7 which is 7 and then we're going to subtract 7 on both sides to get the b by itself so now we know that b is negative 5 okay so now we'll come back and rewrite the equation is y is equal to mx plus b with m being 1 and I'm going to write that in so you see it. So it's 1x minus 5, because that's what b is. So we found the slope, which was given, and the y-intercept, which is negative 5. And then this is our answer here. All right, so let's take a look at another example. And you could pause the video here and see if you can solve it on your own. Alright, so let's take a look at this one. Alright, so again, we're going to start off with the y equals mx plus b. And don't let the fact you got this fraction in here throws you off. It's just a slope. We're going to plug it in and work with it from there. Okay? So, we got y is equal to mx plus b. We're going to plug in the three that we have. We've got the x and the y. Okay, and the y is negative 8, the m is negative 1 half, and I'm going to write it like this, negative 1 half times, and I'm going to make this a fraction, uh, x, which is 4, and to make that a fraction, you can put it over 1. All 
right, now we work it from there. I'm going to bring down the negative 8. And then negative times a positive is a negative. 1 times 4 is 4. And 2 times 1 is 2. Then we continue to simplify. I've got negative 4 divided by 2. Uh, negative divided by a positive is a negative. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then we keep working from there. We add 2 on both sides. Negative 8. This will be plus 2 here. Negative 8 plus 2 will be negative 6. It's equal to B. So again, we know that B is negative 6. Now all we got to do is write the equation uh, with the slope. Y is equal to negative 1 half times X, which is X here, and minus 6. And then this is your answer. We just plug in the slope. and the y in the cell. Alright, and that's lines from point slash slope. So that's writing the equation given the point and the slope. Again, I want to thank you for checking out my video. Have a nice day.